Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create a theme switcher in Power BI without using any bookmarks or measures in your Power BI report. So I have the theme switcher buttons at the top right here. When I select light, my entire Power BI report theme has now changed to white. And when I select dark, the dark theme is applied. So this is the demo file that I have and I have created all of the visuals here on my report. So let's get started. So I have this Excel file here, which contains all of the hex codes that I will be using to switch between the light and the dark theme. I have the theme here, dark and light, and I have the colors against them. These are the hex code, my background color. You can change these hex codes to your liking. And then I have my visual background colors, my data labels and text, and the shadow color that I want to apply to my visual. So I'm gonna quickly copy this entire table that I have here. Head to Power BI and then I'm going to click on enter data here and paste the data that I have and then let's give it a name to this table. I'm going to call this table as theme and then click on load. Once I have my table loaded here, let's go back to the report view. And now first let's start with our background. So I'm going to click on insert here. Let's insert a shape. I'm going to choose the rectangle here and let's fill the entire page here with this rectangle and then head to the shape style and then let's click on the fill here. And then let's click on the FX button that we have here. And from the format style, you can choose the field value and what field should we base this on. Let's click on this drop down and let's expand theme here. And this is the background color that we have chosen. I'm gonna click on background here. You don't have to use any kind of measures here. And this will be automatically taken care of. And then I'm gonna click on okay. And now I have a color applied to the shape that we added. Now let's add a slicer to our report. Let's add the slicer here and then bring in the theme that we have in our table and now this has the value dark and light. Let's quickly go to the slicer settings and change the style here from vertical list to tile. I now have my dark and light being displayed here and let's quickly change and see what happens. Also before that, let's quickly change the uh, slicer selection here to single select so that I have single select applied here and always there's one value selected here. And when I click on light here, you see how the background is changing on the shape color here and when I click on dark I have my dark color now all we have to do is send this shape here to back so let's go to the format tab and then let's click on send backward and say send to back and now you can see that we have our ba black background created let's quickly resize this again and turn off the slicer header because we don't need that let's quickly resize this as well and then bring it over here and now you can see that there's white background on the slicer let's go to the size and style and under background here let's increase the transparency transparency to 100% and now we have a transparent slicer that we have here and now if I choose light I have my light background color being applied and then when I choose dark I have dark background color being applied now now you can see that my visual background colors of these visuals also need to change accordingly so let's quickly select the visual here and then head over to the um, size and style under background I need to apply the conditional formatting for the background color. I'm going to choose the field value from the format style and what field we should base this on. I'm going to choose the visual background color that we have in our table and then click on OK. And now you see that our background has changed to the color that we wanted. Likewise, we also have to apply the conditional formatting for X axis. I'm going to select FX button here under X axis and then click on field value and then under theme here I'm going to choose data labels and text value and then click on OK. Now you see that our x-axis values also have changed. Likewise we will repeat the same thing here for the y-axis under values here. Let's click on FX button repeat the same thing here and then let's go to theme data labels and text click on OK. I now have the right color being displayed here on the y-axis as well. Let's repeat the same procedure here for data labels as well. I'm going to go here into value and then click on this, sorry, click on FX button and then from the format style, select field value under theme. I'm going to choose data labels and text and then click on OK. And now when I select light here, you see that we have a white background appearing and all of the text here is appearing in black. And then when I choose dark here, you see that our text is now appearing in white with black background. 
You also need to change the color here of the title because when I select dark here, you don't see the text value. So let's quickly go to the title here and then change the color here for the text as well. Let's go to the field value and choose data labels and text, click on OK. And now I have my title appearing in white. Now, now that I have created one of the visuals here, I can simply format paint this into other visuals so that it makes my job a little easier. I'm going to format paint this and now I'm going to repeat the same thing here on this visual as well. And now when I select light, you see that our now our colors have changed. And when I select dark here, we have a dark thing being applied. And now I have to repeat the same process here for the cards as well. So I'm going to click quickly go to the size and style. And under background, I'm going to apply my background formatting, conditional formatting here and choose the background. This is visual background and then click on OK. And then the next thing is let's go to the cards here. Let's scroll down. We have the background. And then let's apply the background color for the visual as well. I'm going to go to theme here, select visual background and then click on OK. And we also have to change the value for text. Let's go to the callout values and the callout values. Let's click on FX button here and then field value and then choose data labels and text. Click on OK. And then we also have to repeat the same thing here for the label as well. Let's repeat the process and then click on field value and then select data labels and text. Click on OK. And now I have this applied. Now I can simply format paint this on my other card visuals that I have. And now when I select dark theme, when I select light theme, I have my colors changing on all of these visuals here. And when I select dark, I have the colors appearing here as well. And now with just a click of a button, I'm now able to switch between the dark theme as well as the light theme. Now, one last thing, I would like to add a title here as well. And unfortunately, if I add a text box here, the text box does not have the formatting options, the conditional formatting option for me to change the color dynamically. So instead, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a shape here, a rectangle shape, and then let's re size this quickly and then expand this, resize this and under action or under shape style here, you have something called as text. I'm going to turn off the fill here, turn off the border and then turn on the text. I can enter whatever text that I want to display here. Example, sales report. And then I'm going to make this bold, increase the size to about 35. Let's quickly change the alignment as well. I want this left and then vertical alignment as well. I'm going to resize this again. And now I have an option here for me to change the color of the text. I can simply click on this FX button here from the drop down, choose field value. What field should we base this on? Let's quickly change this to data labels and text. Click on OK. And now when I select light here, you see that my color of the title has changed to black. And when I select dark here, it is now back in white. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is how to add the icons to the theme switcher. So let us see how we can do that. Let's quickly go back here to the theme and click on edit query. Let's get into the power query editor. Let's click on the gear icon here to go to the source and on the dark here, I'm going to double click so that I can edit this and then I'm going to click on Windows semicolon that will open up a dialog box which will let you enter the emojis of your choice. I'm going to click simply search for moon here and this is the icon that I have used here for dark and then let's add a space here and then let's repeat the same thing here for light theme as well. I'm going to click on Windows and semicolon button that will open up the dialog box and now I'm going to search for cloud and this is the icon that I have used here. Let's add a space again and then click on OK and then let's click on close and apply. And now you can see that we've added these emojis to our light and dark theme switcher and it looks nice and gives a nice little touch. So this is how you'll be able to create a theme switcher in your Power BI report to switch between light and dark theme. Make sure to explore with different color options of your choice and let me know in the comment section how you like this idea. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.